Hi friends, Knife Detector here, and I wanted to show you this gorgeous Rough Rider Sunfish Knife. You know, I've been holding on to this one already for a couple of weeks. I admit, I've already carried it a couple of times. This is part of the Rough Rider Outdoorsman series. And check out this beautiful acorn shield. I'll show you a close-up in a little bit. Now, notice also the bone pattern here. Doesn't that remind you of, like, those Jelly Belly Jelly Bean candies, the popcorn flavor? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I like the Jelly Belly candies, the popcorn flavor. And uh, that jelly bean from those candies looks very much like this color right here. Um, I don't know exactly what that color bone is called. I know some of my YouTube friends out there probably do. Um, but it's just a really pretty hue on that bone. I really like that light brown so much. And this is part of the Outdoorsman series uh, that Rough Rider made a while back. I believe this is a series that's been discontinued. Um, and you know what? I'm really happy to get this knife. I got it on eBay. I paid for this knife, guys. This is not one of my uh, bargain stories. This is not one of those stories where I actually scored because I paid close to nothing for it. This is not one of those. I actually paid 60 bucks for this knife before shipping. So all in all, it was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of $65. So this was not a cheap knife. But... I like this knife a lot, and I, I'm ashamed to say I paid as much for this knife as I probably paid for this knife right here, and this is my Shanton Morgan, you know, medium sunfish, which I've been carrying recently as well. Look at that beautiful, I forgot what this is called, like molasses bone or whiskey or I don't know, something like that. I forgot what kind of bone this was, but you see the tolerances on this thing are just so perfect. It's like perfection, right? And I love this knife, you know, but I love this knife, even though I paid $80 for this one, I underpaid for this one. As much as I love that one. And I'm not sure why. I think it's because Rough Rider comes out with all these unique, really attractive designs. And I really like the timeless beauty of this one, right? But that is a gorgeous knife, right? And I keep this one tucked away in here so it doesn't get banged up when it's not in my pocket. Because I want to maximize that pocket time. Now, I like knives with unique badges and that have colorful handles. Here's another one. See, this is one I've used quite a bit. It's got quite a few nicks and scratches on it, too. This is a Ridge Runner. I only saw these for a brief while. See how it has that Ram emblem right there? And that's like, uh, for those of you who drive Dodges, that's pretty cool, right? And uh, this is a Ridge Runner. This came out for a while. Looks like it's made by the same Chinese factories that make the Rough Riders. Ridge Runner. And uh, RR. It says RR. Look, Ridge Runner. RR. Rough Rider. RR. Go figure. 757. I haven't seen these anymore on eBay. These just d never come up, right? They never come up on eBay anymore. So whoever bought these, bought these, and they're not letting them go. So I really like when you have a unique, you know, combination of the bone and the badge on there. It, it just really tickles my fancy. You know what I mean? So this is one of those knives, guys. So check this out. Look at that nice little acorn symbol. And if you look really closely on that acorn, you can see the RR. Isn't that so cool? The amount of effort it took to put that RR in that acorn. Pretty darn cool, my friends. Pretty darn cool. So look at that blade. This blade wasn't hardly used at all. But was this knife carried? Oh, yes. Yes, it was. This knife was carried. And you can tell it has some scratches right there, some scratches in here, the bolsters. But even like that, I polished some of that out. But even like that with the scratches, you know, I think that it is, uh, it just was meant to be mine. It was meant to be mine. I really love the look at that bone. I mean, come on. I love the look of that bone. And this is an older Ruffy. This is the one that has the kind of the horseshoe pattern in there. Yeah. And this is an RR. And what is that? 387 or 887? 887. 887. My eyes are failing me a little bit. Now, this does have some rub, as you can see. Because as you know, Rough Riders are not perfect, right? Um, but man, this thing came very sharp. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Snaps open. Snaps closed. This thing was hard, wasn't hard to use. And here's where it rubs right here when you pull this blade out. It's a little bit oiled. Sorry about that, guys. Put a little bit of oil on it. Wipe some of that off of my shirt. There's the horseshoe. 
Very nice. I have been using this, unfortunately. It's got a little sticky stuff there. I forgot what I cut with this. I think I cut some tape with it, some boxes or something. But yeah, I wanted to do this video because I just can't stop putting this one in my pocket. Really love this. It's got this timeless quality to it. And yeah, the snap close on that is a little lazy. Maybe it'll clean up a bit. Wants to have a half soft, not really, and then it's a little lazy, but you know, it doesn't bother me too much. Look at that. Look at that pretty little acorn. Man. So I wanted to show you this, guys. I wanted to show you that, but I also wanted to show you something else. You see, you know that I kind of made that, uh, or actually my wife made this sticker for me right here. That's been working for me really well. Um, I've sent a couple of those out, but I'm going to hold on to a couple of those. My own, my wife only made a batch of six for me. That's what she printed for me on her cry cut machine and, and cut for me herself with special tools she has. And I'm waiting for her to make some more. As she makes some more for me, I'm going to include some of those and giveaways and raffles I do and stuff. But I could hardly wait for more of those. So I had something else done. Um, I had some of these done. Let's see, these are patches. These are patches with glue in the back, see? So I only had six of these done because uh, they're not that cheap. So I had six of these done. And I actually, uh, by the time you see this video, I have mailed off five of the six to some of my YouTube friends. I wish I could mail them off to everybody, but like I said, I only had uh, six, so I definitely wanted to keep one. I think I'm going to put this patch on a jacket I have or something like that. It's four inches wide, the patch. Okay, so it's not a little patch. It's a big patch. Um, this may be too big for some of you guys, or it may be just right. Who knows? Too small even. But uh, I sent it off to five of you, five of my YouTube buddies. I just wanted to send you a little something. I hope you like it. Uh, and just know, if I had enough to send everybody, I would. Uh, and I plan on sending more out in the future. In fact, I've thought about possibly, you know, ordering more and having them in case anybody wants to support my channel and selling them for like uh, 11 bucks or something like that. That way I can make a little bit of profit to support the channel. Uh, each one of these to make these uh, is costing me on average, if I buy more than more than a few, it's costing me about six bucks to make each one of these. So, um that way I can keep a little bit if I decide to sell them. Right now, I don't have any more because I'm about to mail out uh, some of these for my buddies. So, um, like I said, you know, if you didn't get one, I very much apologize. You know, I, I do have more and I wish I had enough to send to everyone, but I only had six. And, and so I did send out a few of these, amigos. But uh, in my, the future, I plan on having more handy for you guys, okay? So I wanted to show you this patch and this logo. Remember this logo? Gary made me this logo, guys. He made me this logo. He's such a cool guy. Uh, check out The Last Ranger. Check out that channel. If you haven't done so, you subscribe to my channel. You should check out Gary's, you know. Um, really like that. He helped me finalize it to look like this. He brought my idea into fruition. So, yeah. This has glue in the back. That means that you can have it i recommend you have it sewn on professionally but you can also iron it on if you so choose to all right buddies wanted to show you this take care of my friends y'all have a wonderful wonderful weekend god bless